Hello. In this CMMI Tech Talk, I'm going to introduce the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance document. If you Google CMMI Adoption, your search will return almost three quarters of a million results. So if you're new to the world of CMMI and want to know more about adopting it in your business environment, which reference do you use and where do you start, then there are quite a few useful, expertly written references in the literature. Sadly, there are also lots of less useful references out there that could confuse, misguide, and misdirect the uninitiated. That's why at ISACA, the home of CMMI, we developed an easy to read, easy to use, and most importantly, easy to understand reference. Of course, I'm talking about the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance. In this video, I'm going to take you through a simple navigation of the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance and show you how to use it as a valuable reference. First, I want to show you where you can get a copy of the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance. It's a free resource that you can find and download from our Resource Center at this link, which also is provided in the description below the video. At ISACA, our aim in developing this document was to make it freely accessible. I encourage you to not only download it for yourself, but to share it with colleagues who may also be interested in knowing more about adopting CMMI in their own business environment. Now that you have downloaded a copy, let's look at how the information in the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance is presented. As you review it, you'll notice that the guide has been structured to make it easy to navigate so that you can quickly find what you're looking for. The CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance contains introductory material, tips on how to use the guide, a six-step approach for applying CMMI to support continuous improvement, and quick reference appendices that cover important adoption topics and issues. First, we'll look at the six steps and describe how the information is presented in them. After that, we'll highlight some of the appendices that may be of immediate benefit to you. Let's briefly examine the six steps. Step one, learn. In this step, the organization learns how CMMI will be of benefit in its specific environment. Step two, establish objectives. Here, the organization establishes its performance improvement objectives, making sure they are aligned to the organizational objectives. Step three, analyze. In this step, the organization maps its current processes to the CMMI. Step four, develop action plan. After process mapping, the organization develops, keeps updated, and follows an improvement plan to get from the current state to the desired state. Step five, deploy improvements. As the improvement plan is being implemented, the organization deploys and follows the updated organizational processes and most importantly, measures the resulting performance. Step six, assess capability. The last step is to assess the capability and performance of the organization. The information in each of these six steps is presented in a layered fashion to meet the different information needs of key stakeholders in an improvement program. Page 12, figure three of the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance contains a graphic of each step, its title and description. If you use an electronic version of the guide, you'll find that each graphic is hyperlinked to the first page of each step, making the guide easier to navigate. When you go to the starting page of each step, you'll see the step description, a high-level summary of the step, and the key outcomes from performing the step. At this level, the content is boiled down to contain the most salient information that someone who is busy, such as a senior manager, would need as a quick reference. For instance, the key outcomes from performing the steps could readily be used by a senior manager as reference points when setting the goals for and monitoring the health of an improvement program. You may also note that this information is all contained on a single page, making it an easy and quick reference. The next level contains 
a description of the step, activities and considerations, which are presented in a tabular format, adoption and transition tips, as well as some key definitions from the CMMI, and additional information where needed. At this level, the guide provides someone who is more closely involved in improvement, such as a process group manager or quality manager, with easy to read and follow considerations when planning and implementing an improvement program. The activities and considerations are laid out in a logical sequence that has proven to be effective for numerous organizations. This level also contains references to valuable resources. The adoption and transition tips provide useful considerations when carrying out an improvement program. Now let's look at a high-level overview of the appendices that may be of immediate benefit to you. Appendix A, Additional Resources. This appendix contains a list of resources that are part of the integrated CMMI product suite to aid organizations with successful adoption or transition. Appendix B, CMMI Categories, Capability Areas, and Practice Areas. This appendix lists all the components of the CMMI model. Appendix C, problem identification and resolution using the CMMI. This appendix lists more than 20 common business problems, their possible underlying causes, and the CMMI practice areas that could help to address them. Appendix D, typical CMMI adoption roles. This appendix contains information and perspectives on the roles that use and commonly benefit from CMMI. Each of the roles are described along with their unique perspective, approach, and the benefits they realize from using the CMMI model. Appendix E, building goals, risks, and KPIs. This appendix can help you get started with performance improvement by helping you understand your business goals along with your ability to meet those goals. Appendix F, define your current processes. This appendix contains information to help you work through defining your current processes through three easy steps. Appendix G, CMMI practice area security adoption examples. This appendix contains information on one of the most forefront topics in today's challenging global environment, security. It provides CMMI practice area security adoption examples, including examples of security relationships and impacts. After viewing this CMMI Tech Talk, we encourage you to look through the CMMI adoption and transition guidance a little more closely to make sure you are comfortable navigating it as a reference document. In the description below the video, you'll find a link to another Tech Talk that may also be of use as you embark upon your CMMI-based improvement journey. If you have questions, contact support.isaka.org. ISACA staff will be happy to help find answers. I hope you found this Tech Talk useful and now see how the CMMI Adoption and Transition Guidance will make your adoption of CMMI that much easier to understand and execute. Until next time.